the viral video of the week, the viral video of the week is, we're sad to announce, unfortunately, that Pete Frank, the man who started the Ice Bucket Challenge, has died at the age of 34. He was um, diagnosed with ALS and he lost his battle to ALS. And we want to show the viral video, the video that started all. Take a look. It was the Ice Bucket Challenge born five years ago, raising more than $220 million to fight Lou Gehrig's to fight ALS. The idea, simple. Take the challenge, a bucket of ice, and raise money. I'm proud to take the Ice Bucket Challenge. Ice Bucket Challenge for ALS. Bill Gates, Oprah, LeBron James. And we here at ABC News, Amy Robach with her hands to her face, but the New York City Fire Department got to me first. And so much of it inspired by the story of one brave fighter. Pete Frades, a young college baseball star, captain of the team at Boston College, diagnosed with ALS at 27. For a young guy like myself to be diagnosed, um, hopefully I can use my, my youth and um, the networks that I'm part of to uh, promote some awareness. And he did, raising hundreds of millions for research. His wife, Julie, holding the bucket. He kept fighting. He worked for his college baseball team. The boy love. He walked his new bride, Julie, down the aisle. And he became a father to Lucy. I think he... <laughs> I've always kind of been a positive guy. For me, it was, okay, here's what we're dealing with. Let's go to work. So tonight, we vow to keep working in honor of Pete Frades, who died peacefully at just 34, inspiring so many with his strength. Let's work together. Let's find a cure. <laughs> oh man, so unfortunate to hear that Pete Franks has died. Um, you can tell he was an inspiration, a former athlete, and he had got stricken with ALS, and now, you know, his legacy will live on through a the ALS Foundation to find a cure for that disease. And um it's sad to hear that and sad to see that. Wow. He will be missed.